everybody. It's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is for July 6th, 2023. New Might Healer. This is a dark crystal. This is talking about healing by going into the shadow. It's healing by being grounded, not, you know, going off into spiritual sidestepping or magical thinking or anything. And when I say magical thinking, I'm talking about the people who, like, I'm not talking about, like, people who practice magic. I'm, I'm talking... People who think they're practicing magic and go and see, I kind of did it, so that makes me great. No, that, let's have some respect for the esoteric arts and the power behind them. This is not meant to be, it's not a parlor trick, okay? We're messing with energy. We have to be very ethical about that. So this healer card, I think, is about going into your own shadow aspect. You know, I was thinking the other day, because I was just being highly manipulated and I found myself just to protect myself, wanting to manipulate back to get out of the situation. And I had to stop. That was going into my shadow. What, it, what has been modeled to me? What do I really think is my survival tool, right? And is that necessary? Eh, no, it's not. And it's just make it's compounding the negative energy, right? So that would be an example of stopping yourself and asking, Am I, am I doing something to contribute to dark energy? Am I doing something untruthful? This could be not being truthful to yourself, okay? This will affect a lot of people who do um, maybe have some sort of cluster B personality disorder. There's a reason why I bring that up all the time. I'm not a psychologist, nothing of the sort, nothing I say here is a diagnosis, but spiritually speaking, those are the people who have been influenced heavily by a, um, an energy that does not serve them. And again, you have to check with an expert about the actual psychological side of it. But when I come across people like that, I can see, I can see their soul. I can see that. I can sense it. And it's fragmented. It's some, like, like parts of the soul, not the soul can actually be literally damaged. It can't. It's just the, how the energy is um, being perceived off of it. And how it's expressing through this human existence. So I want to make that clear. But these little fragments, these things that somewhere along the line they were taught they weren't worth anything. And so they really have to amp up their worth um, or so on and so forth. So that's the type of healing we're talking about here. It would be my biggest wish for people who are like the ones I was just describing if they would do that sort of deep dive. They usually don't because they, you know, a lot of psychologists will say they think they're perfect. I think they know they're imperfect. They're just so terrified to admit it. That's why they don't come for help. They don't want they don't want to go into that pain. So they'd rather keep the mask on. Okay? But that won't be everybody who's watching this clearly. Just, you know, be grounded. If something comes up that you have to look at, don't push it away. Sit with it. All right? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.